so you are welcome to Creative Events International. Today I will be talking about this headband. I have used a different method for this headband before, but I'm going to be using a method different from the first one I have on my channel. So I will be using Marco. Uh, Marco is what I'm measuring now, and the height that is the wideness is three inches that i would use and then the length has to be the length of the headband so there's no special length once you have your headband you fix it to the headband so the length is the length of the headband i'm just first of all trying to make sure that it is three inches because i don't want it bigger than uh, three inches so i'm just going to make sure it is three inches so after cutting that i want to pad it that is i want to pad it up you know and to pad it i would be using chest wording so the thick chest wording is what i'll be using and this is how I take my measurement. All right. I want to take the measurement of the headband. And that is what I have done. So I'm going to cut the marco at that point. All right. Of the measurement of the headband. You see what I just did. Then I use it to cut my marco as well. So the next thing is I'll use my uh, liquid glue to glue the uh, chest wording to it all right so you can do this using the evo stick you know that shoemaker glue all right but i worked with the uhn so i worked with uhn so after that you can put your fabric on it that is your material you can use your material to cover the back that is the part that is without the chest wording and then you will still cover the part that is with the chest wording. But you start by covering the part without the chest wording. Take the midpoint, all right? Know the middle. That is after covering it with material. You know the middle. You see that I rule my own there. Because I don't want to place it in a way that uh, one part will be uh, bigger than the other or the headband will not sit properly. So that's why I'm placing it. I rule the middle first. And then I'll start by fixing it. Looking at it while I fix. So that I can follow it correctly. Alright. So you can see what I am doing. Just being careful with the placement. To ensure that it is properly seated. Okay. So at this point, you curve it like this and hold it for some time. You know that when a uh, hot glue is not dried, it will, it will give way. But if you hold it until it is dried, it will not have the uh, chance or opportunity to give way. So you hold it until it is dried. You have to allow it to be cold. You understand? That's what I mean by dry. You have to allow it to be cold. So you can see that I'm spending some time to hold it. So once I discover that it's dried enough, I will shape it. And this is how I shape it. To give it the curve I want, right? So we curve it like this. You can see it. We do that on both sides. If you want to be very accurate, you have to take a measurement, let's say two inches upwards, just mark two inches on both sides and then curve it from that point. So you will be very, very accurate. So at this point, we are going to trim out that part and curve it along uh, the line that we drew so that it will not be a four corner, but it will curve like the same way the whatever uh the headband or princess band is curving 
so you can see this is how it will look so we go ahead and cover with fabric all right so i'm just going to show you the one i have already covered then i will continue the training from there all right just letting you know that you wrap to cover it both inward and outward the one for the inside you have to do it before placing the uh, princess bound or head band on it that's the one for the inside why the one for the outside you do it after placing the princess band so at this point with the padding and everything this is what i will get so you can see how it came out we have our big size of headband all right so we, we are still going to do some little work inside to ensure the complete uh, neatness of of it all all right so we are still going to do some little work you can see the inside now you can see how properly the band is sitting and you can see how smooth also the top is so at this point we are going to add our design to it whatever be your design is a thing of choice but i want to use uh, feathers for my design i want to use feathers and to do that i use the and fan feather and fan feather that's what I, i'm using so i'm using the arm fan feather for it so i'm using the arm fan feather for it so to do that also i need to work with the soft art wire the soft art wire so i use the soft art wire to first of all cover the i use the soft art wire i mean and then i covered it using bias so i covered it with bias completely after that i begin to attach the feathers to it don't worry i'm going to show you how i attached the feathers so i have to first of all make sure that i covered it with the bias of the color for the feathers so if you are not using bias you can use thread you can use thread if you are not using bias also you can use the wool wool w o o l wool so you can use wool to also wrap so you say that you use bias thread or wool to wrap then you just pick your feathers or plug it that is pluck it out pluck it out if you don't pluck it out the edge will be swollen so pluck the feathers out after plucking it out you put it at the edge of the art wire and at this time you are not going to be using um, bias to tie but you will be using thread thread or wool to tie if you tie it with bias it's going to be swollen it's not going to be smooth but if you use thread don't make the thread thick at least if you fold your thread into four is okay so you wrap it closely you wrap it closely wrap it closely as you wrap apply let there be a little touch of glue on it just wrap closely touch it with glue all right so with that one you can uh you can see that i'm touching my phone now you can be rest assured that is well seated is strong it's not just going to lose anyhow you understand so that's just it so 
we wrap it to the very end again because the thread uh, is uh, closer to the feathers compared to the uh, bias and apart from that the thread is going to make it look um, it's going to make it look original the way I want it the bias will just be too smooth for my liking so we have it prepared I'm using just three and I, on the three I have one that the feathers is sitting both at the top and the down and then the remaining two my feathers is just at the top and that's all then i'll just go ahead and sew it to it when i'm done i will attach a stick rose to it just to cover the rough part where i sew and apart from that it's going to add to the beauty and after that i will be attaching um elastic to the both uh, end so that it will help me to sit properly on the head so that's just all today's class is very short so if today is your first time uh, discovering creative events international please uh, do subscribe to our channel before leaving today and also please recommend the channel to other lovers of art like yourself because they have a lot to learn from us so right now is going to be um goodbye from my end i will encourage that you watch the video to the very end leave a comment on the comment section especially on areas where you think you are confused i will explain to you that is a promise all right as for now bye see you in my next video